What's up guys, this is Homicide Wiggles, back at it again with another video. Right now we're inside Call of Duty World War II Zombies, playing on the Final Reich. This will be a quick little guide on how to pack a punch your weapon, or upgrade it. There are, however, going to be a few prerequisites you will need to complete first. And make sure you watch this video to the end, because if you're looking to complete both the easy and hard easter eggs on this map, or just trying to survive to the higher rounds, you will need to know this information. In total, you will need 16,250 jolts. So without further ado, let's begin. Starting off in the first area, you will want to melee all the zombies in the first wave with the shovel. And once finished, unlock this gate for 750 jolts and head into the village square. Next, head over to the first gas valve and hold X, in this case, to turn the valve. Continue holding until it reaches 60 and the light turns green. Also notice that one of the lights on the gas tank is now green. Head over to the second gas valve and fully turn the valve, just like you did with the first one. Once completed, another light will turn green on the gas tank. To reach the third valve, you will need a thousand jolts. Just continue killing zombies until you have enough. Unlock the gate to the riverside and turn the valve as you did with the others. You should see all green lights on the gas tank as well as another green light near a button. Activate the pilot light and an explosion will occur with flaming zombies crawling out. Run around and activate the power switch, then exit the tunnel. Continue killing zombies until you have 1,250 jolts. then open the door to the bunker. Run down to the command room. You will now need to open two doors. Just kill some more zombies until you have 3000 jolts. Open the door to the morgue and head through this path to find another power switch. Reroute the power and quickly head back into the command room and open the door to the laboratory. Head through it and up the stairs to reroute the power to the command room again. Gather 1500 jolts and head back into the morgue and walk all the way through to find a gate leading to the sewers. Unlock it and run in and shortly you will find a machine that is used to pack a punch or upgrade your weapon. However, it is blocked by a cage. You will need to raise the cage by pressing four red buttons. The first can be easily pressed near the cage. Pressing it will only raise it slightly. For the other three, you will need to enter disposal tubes which can be found across the map. Each time you enter one of these tubes, it'll cost 250 jolts. The first can be found in the command room. Head over here and enter the tube. Immediately after you exit the tube, you will need to push the red button. Do not walk out and do not leave the area. If you do, the gate will shut and you will have to repeat this process again. Head into the laboratory and to the left you'll find another tube. Enter it and press the button before leaving. When you do, this room will turn red. Head back to the starting point and purchase this gate for 1500 jolts which will give you access to the pub area. Gain another 1500 jolts and enter towards the tower. Head to the left side and you will find the last tube. Go through it again and press the button to completely raise the cage. Now you are able to upgrade all your weapons. All upgrades will cost 5000 jolts. Simply equip the gun you would like to upgrade and hold X to upgrade the weapon. Upgrading will take about 10 seconds so do be mindful of any zombies nearby. Once it's finished hold X again to grab the gun. No, you are only able to upgrade guns and not grenades, shovels, or anything else. Upgrading increases the damage output of the weapons and the magazine capacity. It will also give it a nice cosmetic appearance. Lastly, the upgrade machine can also resupply any upgraded guns ammo that has run out. So there you have it guys, now you know how to fully upgrade your weapons. If you liked this video or found it helpful, be sure to leave a comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to check out my other videos. This is Homicide Wiggles, stay tuned for more to come.